What's up everybody, Hitman Blood Hunter here, and this will be a shattering patch info video. In today's video, I'll let you guys know what's not going to be in the Cataclysm Shattering release patch tomorrow, and what is going to be in the Cataclysm release patch for the Shattering. What's not going to be released is creating Worgen and Goblin characters. You will not be able to create Worgen and Goblin characters until the release of Cataclysm. The Worgen and Goblin starting zones also obviously will not be available as Cataclysm has not been released yet. Unlike in Wrath of the Lich King where you, able to, where you were able to use inscription at, from the start, archaeology will not be available also until the full version of Cataclysm is released. Professions will also, also be locked at 450. You will not be able to advance in professions until Cataclysm is released. Guild leveling and guild achievements also will not be available until the release of Cataclysm. Flying in the Eastern Ki Kingdoms and Kalimador also will not be available. I thought that would be awesome if they let you flew and fly throughout Azeroth before Cataclysm came out. But I understand there will be a lot of complications as they haven't fully released the full game. The new zones 80 through 85 also will not be released and not be available until the Cataclysm launch date. What's going to be changed tomorrow is that the portals in Dalaran and Shatrath are removed. They've done this in, in my viewpoint because they want players to stay in Azeroth. They want them to stay in the Eastern Kingdoms and Kalmador. They want the players to stay in Ironforge, Stormwind and use them as their main city hubs instead of just staying in Dalaran. If they kept the portals in Dalaran, at least in my opinion, players would have kept the Hearthstone there and just stayed in that city. The class trainers will also now be available in Dalaran where the old portals will be. So now you'll be able to get all your class trainers over there if you still prefer to stay in Dalaran. The new race class combinations, excluding the worgen and goblins, will be available starting tomorrow. So if you have the urge to create that troll dru druid, well you'll be able to, to starting tomorrow. The new gnome and troll starting areas will also be available. So if you decide to roll that troll druid tomorrow, or roll that gnome priest, then you will be able to do it starting tomorrow. The changes to the existing zones will also start tomorrow. The shattering will create earthquakes, flood, thunder bluff, on all these other cities. The cataclysm load screens, the intro somatic, and the new login screen will be available tomorrow. So f say goodbye to the old Wrath of Lich King load screens and login screens because the new cataclysm ones are starting tomorrow. The new music will also be available. There will be bug fixes, class balancing, and there will be many class changes, which you could find them on MMOChampion.com. Druids, Paladins, Priests, and Shamans will have their talents reset. Other classes will not. What I was excited to hear about was that from level 71 through 80, they will be reducing the experience needed to level by 20%. That is a huge increase and should speed up leveling enormously and get those players that want to get to 80 and experience some of Wrath before Cataclysm comes out that much quicker. New tameable hunter pets like monkeys, foxes, dogs, beetles, and new skins for existing pet classes will be available. The swift zillion tiger in Zolgarub, the swift Razashi raptor, and the Razashi hatchling will not be available starting in 4.0.3a. As Zolgarub will be turned into a leveling zone, you will not be able to get these mounts anymore. Blizzard plans on releasing other ways to get these mounts, so if you have been farming them, hopefully you've got them by now. Tome of Polymorph Turtle will not be available for mages. Crusader's White and Black War Horses and Swift Alliance Steeds and Swift Horde Wolf will not be available. They will be removed and they will no longer be attainable. The Reigns of the Blue Drake, which you used to get from defeating Templar Malios, 
you do not need to use the dungeon finder anymore. And now you can just get it from 10 player Maligos. The reigns of the Azure Drake will still only be available from 25 player Maligos. Memron's head will be changed to a very low drop chance when defeating 25 player Yogg-Saron with no keepers assisting you. The invincible mount will also turn into a low drop rate. So if you're trying to farm those invincible mounts for your guild, I suggest you get them as soon as possible. There are a whole bunch of changes coming and I just can't wait because I've been bored with Cataclysm these past couple days. And the Cataclysm beta is just, it's just not doing anything for me right now. Wrath of Lich King, in my opinion, has been done for a while, ever since I took down the Lich King. And I've, I've been bored in the Cataclysm beta, like I said. I've done everything already. Hopefully, when Cataclysm comes out, I can advance my main character and actually make some more videos for you guys. Because I don't want to bring out some Cataclysm videos and you guys just basically me having to sh show you them all over again. Because content isn't going to be changing much. If you guys have any requests, please let me know because I will read all the comments and all the messages you give me. Please subscribe. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I really appreciate all everybody, everybody's comments, ratings. Please thumbs up and take care guys. Till next time.